Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus, Plus TV Africa. And of course, uh, moving on to our first major conversation uh, this morning, um, the presidential, a presidential aspirant of, of the African Democratic Congress, Professor Kingsley Mugalu, yesterday tendered his resignation um, of his membership of the party. And he was, shared his, shared his uh, letter of resignation on his Twitter handle. It went viral uh, last night. A letter obtained from his Twitter account, um, it was addressed to the party's national chairman, O.K. Ralphs, on Wosu. Mogalu cited alleged infractions from the party's presidential primary election as reason or his reason for leaving. Uh, reports have it that the former presidential candidate of Young Progressive Party in the 2019 general elections uh, was defeated as just concluded primary election in ADC in Abekuda. We actually did talk about that on this program last week. Now, while the winner of this primary, uh, uh, Dumebi Kachiku, who was uh, previously not widely expected to win the primary, uh, he scored 977 votes. Mogalu pulled 589 votes to come second. Now, Mogalu's resignation letter read in part, quote, I'm writing to hand in my resignation of my membership of the African Democratic Congress effective immediately. He went on to say, quote, I have resigned because the process and conduct of the party's presidential primary on June 8, 2022 at Abe Okuta revealed a fundamental clash of values between me and your leadership of the party. He, uh, talking to Ralph Mwosu, he said, quote, despite the secular you issued a few days to the primary committing the party to providing transportation and accommodation for delegates um, to and in Abe Okuta, which as we agreed would provide a level playing field for all presidential aspirants of the party under your leadership has failed uh, to do so, he said. He continued by saying, quote, some aspirants, including myself, made donations to the party's account as requested for this purpose. This failure, which appeared intentional, created room for massive abuses of electoral processes, including delegate capture uh, and financial inducement of delegates, he said. Uh, so that's what... Um, uh, the, was contained in that letter. Mogalu didn't disclose his immediate uh, political step or future, but he blamed his loss to quote, cash and carry politics, is what he said in the letter. Cash and carry mm -hmm. politics. And um, he revealed that his former party, which he joined in 2021, uh, was not a credible uh, alternative. He added, quote, the, this is only one of the numerous inconsistencies and absence of transparency and predictability in the management of the party that I uh, had progressively complained about. He went on to say, quote, as you're well aware, I have consistently resisted the process of pressures to join the All Progressives Congress or the People's Democratic Party precisely to avoid cash and carry politics for me to remain a member of the ADC. Therefore, after what thousands of party members participated in Abuja, or in Atabe Okuta rather, uh, would be to endorse political corruption of a most obscene order. Very strong words coming from uh, Mogali. A very uh, most obscene order, he says. Um, would like to bring at this point uh, public affairs analyst and indeed a member of the All Progressives Congress. is actually the candidate of the party in the governorship elections in Akwabum State, uh, architect Ezekiel Yaituk. Good morning to you, architect. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me. Did I hear you say All Progressives Congress? African Democratic Congress. Sincere apologies Thanks. for that. <laughs> but would it, it wouldn't be a bad one <laughs> if you were with it the would be a bad one. It would be a bad man. <laughs> All right. I mean, you, you have been you've been front and center of the processes of the African Democratic Congress, at least I know before now, and indeed with the party primary uh, and yeah. all the activities there off. I mean, I saw you um, in the media as the executive of the party took Kachi Dumebi, who is the presidential candidate, to go see Baba, uh, former president of Lushego Matia, Kikiola Aremo Basenjo, at his, um, his uh, abode there in Abekuta. So you know what's been going on. Indeed, you were part of those yeah. who oversaw the counting of the votes. Um, what are your, 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 your thoughts here? What's your response as an individual member of the party who was seen on national TV helping yeah. oversee the, the process that uh, uh, um, King Simogalu has described as obscene. What are your thoughts on 
his resignation. First off, let's start from his resignation before we go to the content of his letter. Yeah. Um, first, I feel really sad. I feel very unhappy. I, I feel uh, a torrent of emotions on the negative for more reasons than one. Um, I am the person that brought uh, Professor Mogadu into ADC. I was, I was the one. I am also a member of the Board of Trustees of ADC, African Democratic Congress. And uh, number three, uh, I've, I've been a personal friend of Professor Magalu for over 30 years, and not just uh, a personal friend, at a family level, we are friends. So the discussion that I'll be having today is going to be an extremely difficult one for me, uh, because I need to be able to balance out emotions while presenting facts that I will wish the media will interrogate because what happened is very unfortunate. I, I, I think that um, for more reasons than one, he, you know, I wouldn't say he shouldn't have resigned because if, for instance, he has another offer, one of the conditions would be that you resign. But if you are resigning, you, you could easily say for personal reasons. And when you make such horrendous allegations, I just wish, you know, this is something that was not done in the dark. It was not in the cover of darkness. It was done in the glare of the media. And uh, for him to say the things that he has said about a party that we've worked so hard to ingrain certain values, I feel very unhappy, extremely unhappy. But I'll try to make my points in a way that will also let, let me, make me understand that he's a man and that anybody who loses an election, you know, needs to um, vent his, um, his, uh, his, um, his emotions. It's just that we need to have control and make sure that such vents are factual because, you know, you could win a temporary victory but posterity and time is going to reveal whether you were right or wrong. So concerning his resignation letter, I wish he didn't have to. But being if he has a better offer, it might be in his best interest to resign and then you know, latch on to it. But if it's that he has no offer, I think that um, as we discussed, for more reasons than one, you know, let me just just take a little aspect. If you read part of that letter, he talked about people that his downline that had gotten tickets. If for the, as a leader, if for the sake of these people that you brought into the party and they have gotten tickets, nobody knows John or James or Jonah. People know ADC. How do you think that those people are going to feel when they've invested so much and they are going to go into an election and then you are telling the whole world that the party is absolute rubbish. What have you done to your members? What have you done? How, how do you think they are feeling right now? Let's continue. All right, interesting. So uh, are you saying that um, uh, uh, Professor Kingsley Mogalu's allegations are false? Because oh, he absolutely. talked, he talked about cash and carry politics. Um, this, 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 therefore, this somehow suggests that um, yes. uh, the primary was not free and fair. The delegates were paid, were paid by Dumebi Kachiku to vote for him. Uh, 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 and he, he does not even, he can't even bring himself. King Simogalu cannot bring himself to call that a party primary. He says, after what. The thousands of party members participated in and at Abeo Kota. You can't even call it a primary. So the allegation here is that there was inducement of delegates for votes by Kachiku Dumebi. Let me tell you this. And I'm going to be as, you know, I do regular reviews on this station. So I'm putting my reputation on the line. And I'm talking as somebody who was there beginning to the end. Yesterday in my office, 
the delegates came to my office crying. The delegates from my own state. And please ask your, your correspondents. The list is there. I can make available to you. They came to my office crying that they could not buy bread on their way back for their families. They could not buy bread on their way back to their... I'm saying this on my honor, on my integrity. The delegates from Akwai Bom State, where I was the main person, I was the agent of Mr. Kachiku. They could not buy bread because I only gave them 7,000 Naira, seven. I gave them 1,000 on arrival for them to, I mean, get themselves together. I gave them 5,000 during the day for them to eat. And I gave them another 1,000 when they were going for them to buy things on the way. 7,000 Naira. If that is the vote buying, then maybe I'm guilty. But that is what I gave them. And I don't know how I would have taken them to Abiy Kuta without giving them money to eat food. That is number one. And please, I'm saying this on national television, and I want people to prove me wrong. Secondly, my camp that I took there was split in three. In three, my camp was split in three. Some went to a particular candidate. Some went to Kingsley Mohalu himself, prof. Do you understand me? And the others stayed with me. Those who stayed with me on that Dubebi Kachiku's camp got nothing except this amount of money. But before we left in the morning, I went to them and I said, I gave my, 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 my phone to my, my chairman. And I said, this is my account. Please read there is an, an inflow into my account. And he read, I said, read it out to everybody, he did. And I said, these are four bosses. They have been hired by Mr. Kachiku to take you there, this accommodation, and to bring you back. This is not my money. This is by this man. And that is all he did, provided transport. I showed them the account balance, uh, my account, the inflow, I showed them the bosses which they arranged themselves and the amounts just tallied. Now, what is the crime? As a BOT member of ADC, I it was as if I was, you know, a, a presidential candidate. I was concerned about the number of delegates we were going to have. From Akwaibom State alone, we had 73 delegates because we had two delegates from each local government, and we have 20, 31 local governments, which is 62, plus 10 statutory delegates, which made it 72, and myself made it 73. So for this number of delegates, I asked the national chairman and the national body, how are we going to handle this? We don't have the capacity. Can we trim it down to about 10 per state? It was too late because that was what was in the constitution. All the aspirants were encouraged to assist in any way possible to bring delegates down there. He did. They were encouraged to give accommodation. He did. And at the end of the day, there were 12 candidates or 12 aspirants, and they were seated in front. No other person has made this level of wild, horrific, horrendous, horrible allegations about ATC. You see, there are two things that you must understand. If you get into politics, the first thing you do is you study the game. Every game has its rules. Delegates are different from general election. Delegate election is different from general election. You can go on the media, you can go on Twitter, you can go on, you know, all this and help to propagate the issues of the party and build a party amazing. But you do that more when you are a candidate. 
as a delegate or as an aspirant, what you do is find out who are the delegates. You go to the delegates on that night, the night before the elections. The person that I, I worked with, Mr. Kachiku, he was all over the place. He hosted 1,600 delegates for hours openly there. Every, every aspirant was at liberty to engage the people. And it is on record. While he was engaging them, he told them, I have worked my numbers. I'm not going to give somebody a dime because people are watching me. Some people started crying there in the hall. Says, sir, you can't say that. How are we going to do this? How are we, we don't have this? He said, listen, listen. The party says we must not pay a dime, and I will not pay a dime. And I want you to go and find out. Mr. Kachiku only gave 5,000 Naira to other delegates. Why I paid in Akwaibom, I said, look, I'll take him of Akwaibom. 5,000 Naira, that I know. If he denies it, I'll tell him, I know. And he said, give them money to eat lunch. And it was general. Anybody who was there, collect it. He had engaged these people. He went to the north, the south, the east, the west. Within a period of one month, he went to all, he hosted all the executives. He went around. And I think this is a natural thing you do as an aspirant. So to now come and talk about the level of fraud and this and that that we're done, if anything, if anything, you see, I'm trying very careful to be to be to be to to, to act wisely because my brother professor kinsley Amokalu, had the ticket of the party in his hands he had the ticket of the party people loved him people appreciated him i spoke to him one on one because we've been friends i said look engage these people even the aspirants, all the aspirants, none of them was desperate. Engage them as big brother. Talk to them. Engage them. You've been there before. They are looking after you. Please engage them. Don't make them feel for any reason in the world that you don't think they are relevant. If you don't engage them, some people are going to say, I can go for this. Why can't I? Nobody in that whole mix was in for a do or die thing. Nobody. And there are details. I, I, I challenge the media to go into certain details of the things that transpired before then. While you are in the media, which is good, others are meeting the delegates. So by the time you are in the hall, they are seeing you for the first time. They are hearing you probably for the first time. But somebody else has hosted every executive in every state of the federation. If that is the financial uh, uh, advantage, then I, I, I would not hold them, I would not begrudge him. But to say that there was any level of financial inducement during the primaries, nothing like that happened. And I say this on my integrity and on my honor. All right. Uh, interesting. Um, you've made quite a number of points, uh, uh, architect Ezekiel and Yaitoko, which we would um, uh, note. But uh, I think you've one of the highlights. You said you were uh, sort of the, the agent for um, uh, uh, Dumebi Kachiku in Akwaibom State, I believe. Or was it in, throughout the entire uh, you know, primary, well, throughout well, the states? Well, well, well. All at, right. At so the, you, you were his campaign manager? Ah, no, I was his agent at the primaries. At primaries, okay, all right. Um, so, so you're saying that um, uh, you paid seven thousand naira to delegates from Akwaibom State for for after I they did. complained about the fact that they had no bread to take back home, um, that you supported them with transportation and feeding of seven thousand naira as the agent of uh, Kachidu, maybe. All right, and the reason you're too. saying this is that. These are some of the ways to engage delegates to ensure that they feel a sense of belonging. That they eat. All right. You're right. Okay. That they eat. Those are 5,000 naira for, was for feeding for the day. 
and I don't if that amounts to bribe, then I'm guilty. Oh, okay. So 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 so, so it was it was seven thousand naira, five thousand naira for for feeding and two thousand naira. As they arrived, I gave them one one thousand naira to get drinks and things like that. During the day, I gave them five five thousand naira, and when they were about leaving, I gave them one one thousand naira. Okay, that's seven. Is, 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 is this is this apart from the five thousand naira you said and Kachiko gave every single day he gave for lunch? No, he didn't. He didn't give a quite bomb. Okay. I told him I would take care of our quai bomb. Okay. I told him I would take care of okay. quai bomb. So he gave so other delegates 5,000 naira for lunch each. He made that provision for those anybody who was interested. He made that provision. All right. He made that provision for anybody who was interested. Um, uh, Bogalu has uh, pointed out that the um, uh, the All Progressives, um, sorry, the African Democratic Congress um, uh, issued a secular a few days to the primary, committing the party to providing transportation and accommodation for delegates to and in Abeokuta, uh, and that all the aspirants agreed to this, that this will provide a level playing field for all the presidential aspirants, uh, and that uh, they actually had to um, contribute to the party's purse, the party's account, as requested by the chairman of the party and agreed by all of them. Is this true, that there was this agreement? Very, very true, but you are you are giving half information and it's not it's not it's not it's not good for a man like himself i'll tell you the full information the party insisted every effort was made to ensure that this was a level playing field for everybody to that extent the party did issue a secular that the party will take everybody to the venue pay for the accommodation and demobilization. They did say so. Why? Then Why? I, Why? Why was this necessary by the party? Yeah, because somehow we felt that people will not be able to come on their own. You know? For instance, from Akwaibom, let's take Akwaibom, for instance. For you to go to, to um, on your own, to go to Abekuta, you spend close to 20,000 naira. Come back about the same thing. That's about 40,000 naira. But in groups, it comes to about 30,000 naira. You now pay accommodation that is going to be maybe about another 10,000 naira, depending on where you stay. That's about 50,000 naira. Now, when you go for that convention, you are paying 50,000 naira, and we make sure you get nothing in return, and you go back as a loyal party member. That was what should ordinarily be okay oh, it was so was this decision by the party uh, to have uh, such a, a a unified contribution by the aspirants to support delegates transportation and feeding for the uh, uh for the primary and convention was this also to guarantee level playing field so that nobody is that able to outspend was, your yes that's okay. to tell you the extent to which the party went why, why, why was it important to guarantee such a? Why was it important uh, in term, for the party's estimation to guarantee such a, a level playing field where no no candidate is able to spend, but rather the party is because the one? Because of what we call the ADC DNA, where transparency and accountability are the halls. Man, go and look at ADC from inception. Look at the presidential aspirants that we or candidates we've had all along. We believe in integrity. We believe in forthrightness we believe in openness transparency we set up adc as a different vehicle different from others now we but, but, but this this different. is not this is not what happened that's not no, what what by the time the party did that everybody came back and said we don't have the money the chairman said no let me call the aspirants to come and make pledges some aspirants didn't even pay for the form only about two or three of them could pay. And they all paid. I know that Mr. Mohalu paid. I know that Mr. Dumebi paid. I know that Mr. Um, um, Moye paid. But when you put it together, all could not even bring one-tenth. Because by the time you put, say, 10, 10 million, you realize that what you have is about 30 million, and the budget is about 250 million. So it, it, the, 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 the convention was going to fail what, 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 what about the general them? donations it wasn't up to that no there was nothing you know do people generally donate i mean we, this is nigeria people go to take they don't give and it's a culture that 
we need to start to bring on board, you know. So at the end, all the aspirants themselves felt, look, let's assist however we can. And the party said, go ahead. And he did. He did. He brought in some people. He provided an accommodation. He had a camp. The difference was this, the last day, is that you need to be a politician to engage. That was not the day for text messages and being in the hotel. It was the day for you to be in the field and take photographs, take selfies, network with the people, interact with the people, because these people are seeing you for the first time in their lives. Mr. Dumebi did that. He was in the hall till 2 a.m. And it wasn't a private place. It wasn't a secluded place. It was a place open to everybody. Okay? He did that. And that just created that nexus. He created that affinity between him and the aspirants. And a lot of these people don't, are not on social media. For instance, the people that I brought from Akwaibom to per local, per local government, many of them are not on social media. Many of them don't watch uh, you know, DSTV and all these other things. They don't know. So they were seeing the people for the first time. And they're like, oh, this guy has capacity. Oh, this guy is, is our guy. The guy, he related, he mingled with the people. If Professor Mohanu had done that, he would win. Okay, so, so uh, architect, architect, you, you're saying that um, the, the delegates voted overwhelmingly for Kachiku because he met them uh, a day to the primary and took selfies with them. That is politics for you. Just the selfies. That is why people, I'm telling you, please listen to this. That is why you find politicians going to eat corn. That's why you see politicians going to fry akara. It's unfortunate. The people relate to the things they can see. So, so is this is this is this therefore telling us that the ADC is not different from other parties where politicians no, can man, can. No matter. So, so, sorry, sir. Can I can I please land with my question, please? People. Sorry, architect. No, no architect. Sorry, can I please land with my question? Is this therefore saying? that the ADC is not different from other political parties where you can hear a candidate saying gibberish, but he'll still end up winning because uh, he has a structure, because he went to eat chew corn with candidates. Not that the best idea or the best presentation or the best man for the job will win at the end. Is the ADC any different from PDP or APC? I will therefore? answer you directly. I will answer you directly. That is almost an insult on the 11 or 12 aspirants, all of them were brought before national television to pitch. And my brother, all of them showed they have what it takes to be a president. All. On that day, all of them were brought back to pitch and I will tell you with every sense of responsibility that any of those people, a minimum, let me be a lot more fair, a minimum of 50%, at least on by my own judgment, a minimum of four of the aspirants caught nothing less than 70% in terms of competence, capacity, capability, character. So what, 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 what was the tiebreaker? What was the tiebreaker? The tiebreaker was being able to connect with the people. That's what politics is about. You've got to connect. Leadership is connecting with the people. Leadership is connecting. No matter how good your vision is, if you cannot, that's leadership, leading. If you are going and people are not following you, you are not a leader. So, so, so you, 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 you're saying that uh, uh, the way that uh, 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 may be connected with uh, delegates was of course, in supporting them, in ensuring that the lapses that the party had in terms of um, organization and for the transition and feeling were covered, and in also meeting with them, engaging them one-on-one, -on -one in, in taking selfies with that. So if, if Kachiku, uh, sorry. Not just uh, taking selfies. He had, he had over three hours engagement with them in the hall. He was with them till about 2 a.m. Architect, architect, are, are you aware yes. of, uh, did he, to your knowledge, was, was, uh, were dollars shared to these delegates? 
Not are you are you have you heard or have you, are you aware? Let me, let me ask, let me ask. How will dollars be shared and my own acquired people don't have, no matter how small? Uh, architect, I ask you again, are you aware uh, of any no. uh, uh, dollars were shared at, at, the, at the African Dumebis Democratic camp. Congress presidential primary? Not in Dumebis camp. I'm not aware in Dumebis no, camp. Are you aware that dollars were shared? I'm not talking about, I'm just asking, are you aware that dollars were shared at the ADC primaries in Abel Kuta? Honestly and sincerely speaking, I don't think that dollars were shared, not even by other... Uh, are you aware well. if dollars were shared? Were dollars shared? Were dollars shared I at the am, ADC I presidential primary? I am not primary? aware. I'm not aware, not even by other aspirants. So, not so, even by so can you aspirants. say, can you say with all confidence that no aspirants, no presidential aspirant of the ADC shared US dollars to candidates? I cannot say, but I can say with every sense of responsibility that Mr. Dumebi Kachiku did not share, and to the best of my knowledge, other aspirants, to the best of my knowledge, did not share. All right, so, so I, I, you're saying it's that possible that, it, but, but that money could have exchanged hands. Okay, uh, uh, are you aware, or is it true, is it true, rather, um, that, that a, a person or group of persons uh, shared US $100 uh, or any amount of US dollars to delegates on behalf of Dumebi Kachiku? If anybody was to share, I would have been the one. Haba, I would have been the one. I'm not aware. And why would they share and not give my own people? So are you I saying are nobody, nobody, no, no delegates received U.S. dollars to vote for Dumebi Kachiku at the ADC primaries in Abekuta? You're saying no, de no single delegate received $100 or any amount of U.S. dollars to vote for Dumebi? For the fact that nobody from Akwai Bom received... I can say nobody received because why would he share dollars and then not give my own people? Why no, would he? No, I just want to be sure. Let's let's leave a quiet bomb out. Are you no, saying that no single delegate received US dollars to vote for Dumebi Kachiku at that primary? I'll repeat the same thing I've said over and over again. I am not aware of either Dumebi or any other aspirant sharing dollars. Above all, why would would they share dollars and leave a whole acquired bomb? No, no, I, 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 I'm leaving out maybe in this case because it may not be him. It may be somebody, okay. a proxy. Well, I don't so know about dollars. I, I'm saying, yeah, did, 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 any, did any delegate, even if it's one, receive US dollars to vote for Dumebi Kachiko at that presidential primary not, of ADC? Not to, not to my knowledge because I need to be careful, not to my knowledge. Not from Chuku Kamonye, not from Dumebi Kachiku. I can say that with every sense of responsibility because it was more of a three-horse race. Mr. Moye, Mr. Kachiku, and Professor uh, Mohalu. And these are all, I brought all three of them to ADC. I brought all three of them. And Mr. Chike, Chike, Chike Okogu, I, who was also a presidential um, aspirant, I brought all of them. So they were all my friends and I was in the know and I cannot impute any illegal act on any of them to the best of my knowledge okay what, what would be your reaction um because the allegations out there and uh, uh that uh at least hundred dollars was paid to delegates allegations i repeat to vote for doing you said you're not aware what would be let me, your, let, your... Let, me tell you. let me let me give you information let me give yes. you information let me give you information do maybe had almost one thousand votes Almost 1,000 votes, cutting across 19 states of the Federation. Please, can we just get one person, one person in Nigeria that collected $100? You know, it's, and you know, certain things sound very, very commercial. All right, uh, so, so, architect, architect, what would be your response if we find that one person or group of people who said they were paid $100 uh, uh, by someone from Kachiku's camp? What will be your response? I will, I will be personally, personally, um, not just unhappy, but disappointed because he gave me his word. And in, there's something that is private and I, I, I wish I, I wouldn't have to say, it, but let me say it. One of the closest persons to Mr. Kachiku knelt down that morning and cried and said, please, 
don't embarrass us. We are hearing that some things may be happening. Please join. Do maybe say, I will not do it. I was sitting with him in the hotel. He said, I will not do it. I know they are watching me. I want them to bring one evidence. I dare them to bring one evidence. I will not do it. This person was crying. You have the money. You can do it. Give it. Do maybe say, I'm going to win, and I don't want anybody to discredit me. All right. I will not do it. F finally, finally, are, are there other members of the party, leading members of the party, at least, let's talk about the BOT, who have resigned? Um, as at today, there is a um, rumor of one of the members of the BOT who has resigned, and that is from that has nothing to do with the presidential stuff. It's, it's local, one of the states. Lagos and state. it has to do with... Um, Lagos State does it with the primaries, okay? And the person put a call to me yesterday. Even Mr. Moye, look, let me tell you how it is. Mr. Moye, after all said and done, we've been communicating. We, 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 unfortunately, we, we, we're, we're out of time, uh, architect. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, we will have to look for another opportunity to engage. I'll give you a call after now so we can look for uh, another time to this. engage. Let me say this. Yes. Professor Mohalu is an asset to this country. He's a great guy, and I pray that he thinks twice about some of the things um, that are going on. And I feel for him. All right. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I have so many questions to ask you. I uh, wish we had more time, uh, but I want to thank you very much. I think you have been able to establish that, indeed, um, some money exchanged hands uh, between Dumebi Kachiku and the delegates. You said he paid... I've been able to say that I for, for gave 5,000 naira. And you said you no, as no, his no, agent also, no, also no, no, spent please, some please. money for feeding. No, don't make such generic, generic that. Please quote me right. I've been able to say that during the process, Mr. Dumebi Kachiku and myself gave 5,000 5, for people to eat. Do you think, so do you think, do you think this, this, this gesture by yourself and by, because I mean you were acting for Dumebi, do you think this gesture yeah. by Dumebi somehow endeared him to the delegates? If it does, and if it is negative, I take personal no, responsibility. No, I, I, I'm saying, do you think it endeared him? It, it, it made them, him appeal it, you know, to, to the delegates. It sort of cast him in a good light that, oh, uh, he's taking yeah, over. Yeah, it would. Lunch. It would. Just like bringing them, paying their transportation, put him in good light, and the other asp aspirants bringing transportation and accommodation also put them in good light. It, does, this does, not, good does this not amount to inducement? Um, uh, anybody who tells you that 5,000 naira to eat is inducement on a general platform, I am guilty. I'll say that again. But leadership for people that I brought who are not being paid a dime and I give them money to eat, and you call that inducement, I'm not sure that that's inducement. All right. That's thank not you. inducement. Architect Ezekiel here, I took a public affairs analyst, a uh, member of the Board of Trustees of the African Democratic Congress, and indeed, uh, governorship candidate for Kwaibom State. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. God bless you. All right. Uh, we'll continue our observation of the activities and happenings in the African Democratic Congress. Uh, we'll be back in a jiffy right here on The Breakfast. And of course, we'll say goodbyes. All right, all right. Um, we, that's the size of our package. And of course, it's been an interesting time. Uh, you can follow Plus TV Africa on all social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa. And on YouTube, you can search for Plus TV Africa to watch our clips. But if you'd like to watch us live, you can search for the account on YouTube, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. For all of us here at our studios in Victoria Island, Lagos, my name is Kofi Bartels. See you tomorrow. Up next is the news at nine.